Well, it's interesting. If you take a look at the area, which is now Holly Park, there are not a lot of Americans of Japanese ancestry in that area. And the reason for that, they weren't allowed to buy in that area. And if you take a look at it also close to St. Anthony's, which was Old Town, downtown Gardena, Japanese uh, and others were uh, not encouraged to buy there. So for the most part, you will see west and south is where the Japanese American community ended up developing. Not only myself, but there were other people that opened real estate, Nakajima Company, Ken Nakaoka Company. We all decided to go into real estate business because we could serve the Japanese American community. Up until then, there were no Japanese realtors. You know, coming out of World War II, it's hard enough to save enough money to buy a house. And then to try to go out and buy a house and being told you can't live here, move on to somewhere else, is quite discouraging. And so you have to give the first and second generation Japanese Americans a lot of credit for just having the courage to hang in there and keep going. All of us went into the real estate business and it came out very well. We all succeeded in that. I think that kind of uh, convinced or showed all the realtors throughout California that uh, to uh, discriminate against any particular group of people is not the thing to do when you're selling real estate.